It snowed so much that day, it was like the world was covered with a giant white blanket. I went on a temple stay with my friends Maria and Emily. Bye. We arrived at Kumsansa Temple in Pukan Mountain, which is one of the most popular temples in Seoul. It's very quiet, so My dad is going to love this. <laughs> There are 10 temples to Seoul that offers Temple Stay programs. The first thing you do at the temple is to change into temple clothes. Baggy and bland, the visitors seem like their new clothes. Fair. There we go. That's really cute. Perfect. That's cute. They're amazing. They're like, well, not exactly flattering, <laughs> but they're really warm and they're really comfortable. And I suppose that one of the points is, you know, it's not to accentuate male or female. Helping yourself to just the right amount of food is similar to how we eat in the West. But it was so quiet, we could hear ourselves chew. Rinsing the bowl with water and a radish pickle and then drinking the water. Maria's surprised look on the face made me laugh. Mm, and it also makes you think about how much you should take mm -hmm. because, you know, it we promotes not being greedy, yeah. We could eat We're so used to being able to leave things that you don't really think about how much your body waste. needs. Yeah, and, and how much actually gets wasted. Mm. So. It's a good way to live. It is dawn, but still dark. A tapping sound rings throughout Kumsansa Temple. It's time to wake up. One hundred eight bows was the experience that I had looked forward to the most at the Temple Stay program. Actually, kneeling and bowing was extremely painful. But bowing to the sound of the bamboo clap and how my heart felt lighter with each bow was an unforgettable experience. It was a cross between counting and feeling really bad. I thought, oh, I don't know what everyone else is asking forgiveness for, but I'm asking forgiveness for wanting to stop. <laughs> I'm glad I finished because I really wanted to stop, but I'm glad that I went the whole way. Where's the relaxation? Sweeping the yard is the chore. It's actually a part of the training. I guess there's kind of the same principle when you do like a spring cleaning to get all the yeah. old thoughts, all the to old things from the winter out of the house. To declutter. But then you do actually clean. <laughs> With that, <laughs> that's working. <laughs> Afterwards, we climb the mountain with the monks. Of course, we remember to take our safety equipment. With each step, the sound of stepping on the snow makes my spirit rise. The climb was difficult, but the view was more breathtaking than ever. Our experience at the temple was not an easy one because everything was so different here. But we will always look back on our time here as a memory to treasure. It was definitely a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah. It was a 24 hour cultural shock. <laughs> I'm very grateful of having experienced this side of Korean culture.